Hello everyone, it's, 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 it's Captain Repeat, I have no openings yet, I still have not come up with one yet, it's been a long time since I've made videos regardless, so that's probably why I don't have one anymore. Anyway, I decided that I wanted to play one of my favorite games of all time. And this is, this goes back to my childhood, being as it was one of my first games, and we were talking about it recently in one of my streams, and I really wanted to, really wanted to just touch up on it since, well, we were talking about it, and so, after, after a little bit of, after a little bit of information trading with my brother, he discovered that there was somebody who made a fan game. They made a fan game for my favorite game, Pokemon Crystal. And basically what it is, is this is a fan game that was essentially ported to the Game Boy Advance. And so it has all the, it has all the gra graphics of the Game Boy Advance, but it is, the, it is Pokemon Crystal, like, just ported onto the Game Boy Advance. Once again, like I said, this is a fan game, and all credits should go to the people who made the game, or who, yeah, who made the game. This is not on me. I just found it basically and I'm gonna play it because I'm super excited to play it and I wanted to share it with you guys as so we could share the experience together. Anyway, I'm gonna stop ranting so that we can actually get some 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 actual gameplay in. Let's get this going! Alright, control. So you guys probably already know this, but here we go. Move with that, A B, etc. L R start select whatever. We don't care about that. Uh, anyway, here we go. It says, Welcome to Pokemon Liquid Crystal, Pink and Zelda, and Sinister Zyke. I hope I don't butcher this. Zyke. I hope people enjoy this game as much as we did making it. The game is a beta, which is a 99% complete remake of Pokemon Crystal version from the GBA. Or for the GBA, apologies. And then, just give a moment to respect the people who helped. The Credit, credit the people who helped with the, with the endeavor. This game is a remake of Pokemon Crystal, which has Johto Kanto and Valencia Islands completed. Report bugs that it does love the um, enjoy and complete the rest of Pokemon or Professor Oak. Hi Professor Oak, I it's been a long time since I've seen you as the person who introduces the world, but okay. Hello, sorry to keep you <coughs> Hello, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. Welcome to the world of Pokemon. My name is Oak. People call me the Professor, Pokemon Professor. This world is inhabited in farm life. I create this called Pokemon. Some people play with Pokemon, some paddle with it. That's <clears throat> that's a that's a very loose term right there, isn't that? Jeez. But we don't know everything about Pokemon yet. There are still many mysteries to solve. Why do I have a British accent? Why? Why do I even attempt a British accent? I don't know what I'm doing. But first, tell me a little about yourself. Ah, uh, a little. Just a little. Now tell me, are you a boy? I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. I'm butchering the voice and I'm surely, surely I've offended a lot of people. I'm gonna stop. Now tell me, are you a boy or a girl? I'm obviously a boy, my guys. I'm obviously a boy. Let's begin with your name. What is it? <laughs> ah. The name to like something I didn't think about, but I think I'm just gonna go with my casual. I'm gonna just go with my casual. Here we go. Now, I'm sure all of you have already noticed in the top right corner that I've already selected Cyndaquil. That was not me who selected Cyndaquil. Trust me. If you want my sincere, honest choice, I would have chose Totodile. It's not that I hate Cyndaquil, and it's not that I hate Chikorita, but on Twitter, I asked you guys a very loosely connected question in which you guys all responded fire. This is the question right now. I asked you guys what element was your favorite, and I gave you a selection of water, earth, fire, and air. 
Now, air. That was a red herring. I was not interested in what you guys thought about air. It blew away, essentially. It just blew away. What I was really interested in was fire, water, and earth. Now, if you guys don't know, earth is loosely connected to grass. I know it's kind of loose, and I know I intentionally made it to look like an avatar thing. But, that's just because I felt like doing it. Anyway, you guys mostly responded fire, and so here we go. We're starting with Zyndaquil. Probably... In, in my opinion, Cyndaquil is the second best Pokemon in this in this uh, in this region, so it's all good. It's all good. I much prefer C or I much prefer Totodile, but that's okay. Cyndaquil is awesome too. Uh, your very own Pokemon story full of memories and tough challenges is about to unfold. A world of dreams and adventures, which Pokemon awaits. Let's go. Let's go. Dot dot dot. Da 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 da. Z hmm. You woke me up. Will you check the clock for me? What? What time is it? What? The clock has stopped. That can't be right. Try and read the clock again. Yes. It's too dark to see the clock at all. Perhaps I should play the game without the clock. It would suck though. Should I? No. I need that clock. Perhaps I should try something with the emulator in the settings mode or options menu or something. <laughs> I will enable the real time clock and then restart. All right, we're back. So I couldn't figure out the clock thing. Um, so anything that is a time event thing, unfortunately, we're going to have to play without. Because the time thing wasn't working out, and I can't readjust it now, it's just, it's just not, it's not working. So, sadly, the clock isn't working, so I won't be able to get any time-specific Pokemon. But, aside from that, hopefully we'll have a good run. I really do hope we have a good run. Look at this nice little SN NES right here. Shaped like a Wii. This is that what it said? <laughs> nice. Alright, got a nice little PC, one looks like doctor's bills up there but are really books, whatever. Hello, let's go! Oh, repeat, a neighbor, Professor Elm, was looking for you. He said he wanted you to do something for him. Oh, I, oh, I almost forgot your Pokemon gear, he's back from the repair shop, here you go! Imagine if I like just imagine if I just like talk this whole entire series with like that weird like upbeat esque voice that's just kinda like sluggish. Pokemon gear or just Poke Gear is essential for you! <laughs> it's essentially if you wanna be a good trainer to make calls, just turn the Poke Gear on and select the phone icon. <laughs> what is that? Phone numbers are stored in memory, just choose a name when you want to call it. Jeez, isn't that convenient? Ah, uh, gee whiz, it's almost like a cell phone. <laughs> Except it's not. Oh, I almost forgot. They were doing a discount on new Poke Gear expansion cards, so I got it for you. Newly repaired Poke Gear. You don't have to pay me back, so enjoy it as much as you can. Obtain the GBP card. Yay. Yay. Stuff that I'm probably never going to use. But it's okay, because it, uh, all that matters is that they're trying. Let's see, we'll get ourselves a Pokemon. By the way, I have no idea what I'm going to name my rival. I have absolutely no idea. I was thinking of naming him something completely stupid that would just make everybody except for me laugh. But I can't think of anything. I was wondering if you could help me with the repeat. You see, I'm writing a paper that I want to present as at a conference, but there are some things I don't quite understand yet. So I'd like you to raise a Pokemon that I recently caught. Thank you, Repeat. You're a great help. Yes, yes, yes I am. Except this is more for me than it is for you. Trust me. When I announce my findings, I'm sure I will delve a bit deeper into the many mysteries of Pokemon. Pokemon! <laughs> you can count on it. I why do I always give scientists the British ex the British esque sounding accent? 
Oh no. Oh, hey, I got a new mail. Hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, listen, I have an acquaintance called Mr. Pokemon. He keeps finding weird things and raving about his discoveries. Anyway, I just got an email from him saying that this time it's real. It isn't dreaming, but we're busy with our Pokemon research. Wait, I know. Please, can you go in our place? Go do stuff. I don't care. Just do it for me because I'm lazy and I don't... <sighs> yes. I will handle your, your affairs for you. I want you to raise one of the Pokemon contained in these balls. Mm. <laughs> uh, you'll be the you'll be that Pokemon's first partner. Go on. Pick one. Yes. Except I already know which one I'm gonna pick. It's this boy right here and his name is gonna be Mango. <laughs> That's what I decided. I was like, what am I gonna name this Pokemon? I'm gonna name it Mango, alright? Nobody, nobody judge me on this name. Mango is a wonderful name, alright? It's a wonderful name. There we go. I might as well just name all my Pokemon after food now at this point. So I got Mango. I think my Pidgey is gonna be Peaches. Mr. Pokemon lives a little bit... A little bit beyond Cherry Grove, the next city over. It's almost a direct route there, so you can't miss it. If the Pokemon is hurt, you should heal with, with a machine on my on my right. Where's your right? Your right is to, towards the door. What are you talking about? Feel free to use it any time. You should be okay, but just in case, I'll give you my phone number. <clears throat> Excuse me. Call me if anything comes up. You got this phone. Ah, oh, gee whiz. Uh, no. Now you can call me whenever. Oh, no. I want to, I, the, I, I want you to have this for your errand. Obtain the potion. Wow. Wow, that's so nice of you to give me a potion. It's almost as if I'm not gonna need it. There are only two of us, so we're always busy. Oh, yeah, you're totally busy just standing here in this corner. Yeah, yeah, L look at how busy you are. Oh. Oh, you're so busy. Anyway, excuse me while I go be an errand boy. Don't mind me, I can't run yet, so that's inconvenient. I don't think I'm able to run in this game, actually, now that I think about it. Put you on hanging grass, who knows where the pop up? Yes! Thank you for that very obvious information there, old man. Much appreciated. It's a hoo-hoo. Okay, I honestly thought that the first Pokemon I was going to encounter was a Pidgey, but I'll take a Hoot Hoot. I mean, it's not like I'm able to catch him anyways because I have to go do an errand real quick. I am your your average old errand boy, I suppose. Rain continues to fall, blah 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 blah. Yeah, why is it already raining? Actually, now that I think about it, it's literally already raining. That's, that's not okay. I mean, that's just it's weird. It's almost as if it's foreboding to a really, really sad run. <laughs> it's almost as if I'm about to disappoint every one of you in every step that I take. <laughs> and y'all are and y'all are gonna be like, yo, what are you doing? You're supposed to do this with that so that you can do this. And I'm gonna be like, I don't remember this game that much. But I still, I still hold true to the fact that Pokemon Crystal is what, what has always been, and will always be my favorite first game. Ah, I see. I have run into another hoo, hoo. Go, Mango! Destroy this bird that stands on one foot, but has a second foot. I don't, un I don't understand the design of hoo, hoo It makes no sense to me. I suppose it just likes to stand on one foot. I mean, hey though, that one foot must be pretty jacked though. I... You know, the more I think about it, since this rain continues to fall, my syndical is in the really bad position right now, like a really, really bad position. 
He's, he's, he's gonna die. Like, he's gonna die. He has fire all over him. I mean, it's not like he's a Charmander, though. He literally would die if his tail... If his tail goes out, so I guess maybe he won't die. I don't know. I need to relook up Cyndaquil's Pokédex entries and, and all that jazz. Ah, there's the Sentry. I swear, I keep... I keep looking at all these Pokemon and I keep thinking that they're... I keep thinking that they're Shinies, but they're not... They're not Shinies, and I'm just like, what? It's just... It's just the design of the game. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen any of these animations either. <laughs> I'm so... I'm so spoiled. All the new Pokemon games and other... And other, um... Other better graphics. So spoiled, but this looks this looks clean. Like this actually looks really clean. It looks beautiful so far, and I don't think the music is half bad either. I think it's I think it's pretty nice. It's pretty nice. Yes. When did I give you an orange berry? Did you just take that out of my bag? Wait, I don't have an orange berry. What? Wait a second. What? All right, Mango Lens smoke screen. That's that's definitely gonna do me do me 100% any good at all. Yes, let me get the orange berries now. You see, I didn't reach the trees that had the orange berries, and so on. So now I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Oh, by the way, I need to... I need to do this real quick, otherwise it's gonna cause me to go insane, type speed fast, and we're gonna change this one to type 8. Alright. It's root bearing. Hey, there's two orange berries. You wanna pick them? Yes. Just yes. And we're gonna hop, and hop, and hop, and hop, hop. And then we're gonna make our way straight to Cherry Grove City. Now, unfortunately... I have to talk to this guy, otherwise I'm not gonna get the map, so let's get this over with, yeah? That's okay, I'll be right back, guys. You guys don't have to, you don't have to go through this, but I'll, 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 I'll finish it for you. If you ever like, I can teach you a few things. Pokemon Center, Pokemon, Route, C, congratulations. There you go, I got my map. Basically what happened is he just took me through a, he, he took me through a tiny little tutorial to introduce me to Pokemon Centers and Pokemon Marts. Pretty much, that's, that's, that's all he did for me. Anyway, welcome to our Pokemon Center, would you like me to heal your Pokemon back to perfect health? Yeah, you do that. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, I just froze. Yes, Pokemon, Pokemon are done. All right, all right, all right. So here we go. I don't know. I don't know how long the series is gonna take, but this is gonna be a long series, and I'm actually really looking forward to it. It's gonna be a whole bunch of fun. I'm gonna have like you guys in the comments. Y'all are gonna be like, "You're so boring. What are you doing? You're supposed to do this, and you're supposed to." You're supposed to be doing a Nuzlocke, that's what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to be doing a hard version of the game so that we're actually inclined to rewatch your videos to see you lose poor Mango. I, 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 honestly, I don't think that I'm ready to do Nuzlocke's, honestly. I grow too attached to my Pokemon. Without even giving them names, I grow too attached to my Pokemon. I don't know if I'd ever be able to do a Nuzlocke. I mean, I might give it a try eventually, but I'm gonna just do a traditional run to showcase the, uh, to showcase this game, and then maybe we'll think about doing those locks if you guys really want to see me do those locks. Because it doesn't sound like the worst thing in the world. But I'm pretty sure I could come up with a, come come up with a nice little way to handle it, decently well. All right, I just got poisoned, and now it's time to go back to the Pokemon Center because I am a pain. I have no antidotes. 
I really would like to get some running shoes though. You would you, you would think they'd add running shoes into this game so that we could actually run. But maybe they didn't. In which case I will forever be stuck walking everywhere. Which is kind of inconvenient. But that's okay. Anyway. I think that's about gonna do it for this one, guys. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I hope you guys are gonna enjoy the series as we go on. Um, like I said, this is a fan-made game, so it's not exactly the same, but it's pretty much... They said it was 99% a port from Crystal to a better graphical version of this one. So, it should basically be Crystal, but just with better visuals. That's it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.